So half an hour later, I'm still stuck behind the snapper head, but hey, it is what it is. You know, I've got a, this wicked history of activism, blah, 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 blah. And you know, like, my people have made me so uh, uncomfortable and horrible that I now no longer feel that I'm a part of this country. And so opportunities are presenting themselves overseas that I'm kind of keen on. Well, you can see what's happening here, right? They're going to squeeze me out so the people that wrote off my fight for my son can claim what a fantastic job they've done. But you know, my son was being locked in a toilet so his mother could have time out. And I was doing everything I could to represent fathers and do the right thing. And you know, a guy that I trust by the name of Aaron that I invited into my home, I fed, I clothed, I gave him furniture for his flat, I got him involved with my artwork. You know, he turned around and sold me out. He sold out my fight to my son. And he's just a piece of shit. Yeah, I don't really feel like I'm a part of this place. You know, I believe that your family should come first, that you fight for your family before you fight for anything. And to have somebody come into your own home, betray your friendship, rip you off and sell out your struggle for your son while he's being abused, it's just a piece of shit, eh? Hey? So, although I've achieved a lot of really good success with my activism, and, uh, you know, a lot of the political agendas that I was angling towards have been met, I just can't believe how people would sell out other people's children. There's some really low-life pieces of shit in this world, and that guy Aaron, he's one of them.